Hey guys, this is Josiah here. Welcome to another episode of Josiah's Group Reviews. I haven't made one in forever. But, uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the, uh, off-season updates and everything that has happened in the off-season 2021 as we flip to the off-season 2022. Um, so yeah, let's just get on with it. Um, I can't remember everything off the top of my head, so, um, I'll just remember what I can. Uh, first of all, um... Mars, the company for M&Ms, they are leaving NASCAR at the end of 2022, which was very, very surprising for a lot of people. Um, they've been such a huge influencer for NASCAR for so many years, and it's been a big sponsor for Kyle Busch and all those things. That means that not only M&Ms is leaving, I think they also said Snickers and uh, Skittles are also leaving, which are pretty much most, if not all, of Kyle Busch's sponsors, so... Yeah, that's not really good for um, sponsorship for the 18. I wonder who's going to take over. We don't know who's going to take over them yet after 2022, but uh, we'll find out, I guess, when we get closer to that point. Um, so, yeah, there was that. And then Ty Dillon is moving to the 42 car. He, um, uh, because I believe, yeah, GMS, I believe, bought Richard Petty Motorsports. I think that happened in the offseason. I could be wrong. I think that did happen in the off season some like a month or two ago, like I think shortly after the season ended. Um, so then Ty Dillon is going to be driving the 42, um, and Eric Jones is going to be driving the 43. It's going to be going to be cool to see. And then you also had um, Ch uh, Chip Ganassi sell their um, their uh, charter to I believe 2311 and also. 2311 and also Trackhouse, I believe, because Chip Ganassi's gone um, now because they were they were gone after 2021, which is now, so they're gone and they sold their charge to I believe Track one Trackhouse and one to 2311, I believe, uh, and Kurt Busch and Ross Chastain who were Chip Ganassi, Ross Chastain is gonna drive the the number one, the Trackhouse car, and Kurt Busch is gonna drive the 45, the 2311 car, um, so there's that and then. There was a bunch of like little like like drivers who like are like little like part time in like some Xfinity or truck series that got full time rides in the Cup series. I know Blaine Perkins got a full time Cup ride. Um, the uh, colleague is uh, going to the Cup series with, I believe, uh, who's who's driving full time in the Cup series. I can't remember who's driving full time in the Cup series for. Colleague, I think is it Justin Haley? I think it's Justin Haley, uh, who's driving full time. I think I'm about to check that again. Um, and then I remember there is uh, the 16 car as well for a colleague. I know that the, that the colleague is going to have a 16 car for the Cup Series, and that's going to be shared by three drivers uh, who are going to run part time for each of the each race is for the 16. Um, Daniel Hemrick, Ross Chastain, or not Ross Chastain. <laughs> Daniel Hemrick, Noah Gregson, and A.G. Allmendinger are going to share the 16 Cup car for 2022. So that's going to be, that's kind of cool to see Allmendinger on there. I'm assuming Allmendinger, I think we can maybe hint that Allmendinger is going to run all the all the road course races. So that'll pretty much be his rides. I don't know if he'll race more, but I predict he'll at least run, at least most of the road, road course races. Maybe give Hemrick and Gregson a chance to race a race or two um so yeah I, i'm trying to remember every i'm trying to remember some other things that happened throughout the off season see like i i should like i should like make notes or something about this because i can't if i look back if i try to go to like instagram or something and look back this video will just end automatically so that uh that i can't do it makes this video a lot harder to do even without it, it, without notes, it makes it like extra extra harder, like top of the level hard. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to remember everything. I know that those were like the big big like key key points because uh, I mentioned some like part time drivers got like full time rides. Those are like miniature news. I'm talking about like big big news that um, happened. Um, Daniel Hemrick is going to drive the 11 car. Uh, call the eleven Collie car full time in the Xfinity series, so that was really cool to see. Um, and uh, okay, I remember a few more now. Todd Gillen will be driving the thirty eight and the Cup series full time. 
Um, because Alfredo is not returning to 38. Michael McDowell's returning to his ride, but Anthony Alfredo isn't. So Ty Gillen's going to skip the Xfinity Series, move up to the Cup Series, and drive the 38 full time. I don't know why uh, the front row needs to. Because 2020, John Hunter Nemechek went in that ride, did terrible. He, he had some highlights of the season. And then Alfredo went in the 38, uh, did worse than uh, Nemechek did. Then now there's Todd Gillen. I don't know who knows what he's going to do. I don't know. It's just they keep just having the 38 be like some young drivers and like skipping the Xfinity series or something. Because they need to go truck, Xfinity, Cup, not truck, then skip Xfinity to go to Cup. Because that's, that's going to make their uh, Cup Series um, rookie season, that's going to make it really, really hard. Because Cup Series is the hardest uh, series of all, obviously. Um, and th 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 they're making it so much harder for these guys like Todd Gillen that are getting into Cup Series rides. Even after just having a truck series season and not even having an, an Xfinity Series season. Because, yeah, Todd Gillen, I don't, Todd Gillen hasn't even raced one race in the Xfinity Series, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, there there was that. Uh, so, yeah, Todd Gillen's going to the 38. McDowell's keeping, he's keeping his ride. He's going to the 34. Um, did Benedetto and Newman don't have a ride? I'm still thinking Newman's going to retire because, like, he, he kind of hinted it, like, a little bit, like, a few days ago. He said that the Ryan Newman page will be closing down which at that point at that point he has to be retiring because if he shoot if he's not shoot, if he's closing down his um page after 2021 and then there's still racing wh 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 where's the merchandise gonna go is there gonna be a new one or is it gonna be retiring I'd, i it would be sad to see him go but i think he is going to be retiring because brad kazowski is taking over his ride the number six in uh Oh, uh, what is it going to be called? Roush Keselowski Fenway Racing or something like that. Um, I know it got that completely wrong. Because, yeah, Keselowski bought that uh, Roush Fenway, and then now it's going to be called Roush Fenway Keselowski or some something, something like that. Um, so, yeah, there was that. Um, I know there's more stuff, okay? I know there's more stuff. Um, but I'm going to end this here. I know I know there was, I know there's stuff out there that I mo definitely missed, but... <laughs> just I, I need like write down notes or something about this I, th that's why i should just do just start a group review that's why i should just, that's why it, it's easier to just do it like every day like eric Eastep makes his out of the groove stuff every day it's a lot easier to catch up on stuff than to just do it in a month and just big talk i don't know um but this might be the final episode of just start group reviews in 2021 Unless I do, like, a year in review. Um, I'm thinking about doing a year in review 2021, like, on New Year's Eve or something. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I might do that. I might not. Um, I, know, I, I know I haven't been active much on YouTube as I used to be. i uh, just been kind of burnt out on it. I've been thinking about going back to NASCAR Heat 5 Championship mode. And if I do... Um, yeah, I, I don't know. What I was gonna, uh, if I get my chair out, then, I, then I'll do it. Because, yeah, I'm racing like this chair. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I might do a year in review 2021. We'll see. But, anyway, yeah. I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to be more active on you. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But yeah, I'll see you guys uh, if I decide to make the year in review 2021 thingy. Or, if not, then I'll see you in the next video. So, yeah. See you guys. Bye.